Happy Saturday, guys. I'm not doing yard sales. I'm not doing a lot of eBay today. Just kind of relaxing. Wife has a doctor's appointment, so I'm outside waiting for her. So thought I'd just jump on here and say hello to all my new subscribers, all my resale peeps. Um, I just wanted to come here and let you guys know that I'm coming up on a very serious anniversary. Nine years ago, I had open heart surgery five bypasses and then a year later I had four stents put in and this is all due to uncontrolled diabetes I I was really bad I um I was I was at a bad place in my life I guess I um I lost my job with the city but I didn't lose my job with the city <clears throat> this was too it was you know during the crash you know they 2008 was when everything crashed and governments were laying a lot of people off and I mean luckily I got to stay on to like 2010 and they gave me the choice to either you know either get fired or retire and I knew I had back problems so I said you know what I better retire because then I'll get at least I'll get you know some money for the rest of my life with the, with the city so so I did that I retired I ended up having I retired in 2011, yeah, 2000, 2000, 2011, and then I ended up having like three back surgeries. Actually, I had my two SI joints fused, and then I had my L405 fused, and I was in rehab for like two, three months. It, it sucked. It was a mess. Oh, I hurt so bad. And then, this was like in August, then in August, yeah, it had to been August of 2011, yeah, two August of two thousand eleven, and then in two thousand twelve, on my birthday, I used to DJ, so I got to DJ at a club for my birthday, and all my friends were there. We were having fun, drinking, you know, just doing doing what we're doing. And after the club, my friend, who's my wife now, my my lifesaver, you know, we call her that. She's my saving grace, my guardian angel, one of my guardian angels. You know, we were done with the club, and I was feeling sick. And I told her, you know, I don't feel really good. You know, I'm just really tired and all that. So she's like, you know what? Maybe you should go to the hospital because you don't look right. So sure enough, we went to emergency room. They did a, what do they call it? They did a, the EKG on me. They showed up abnormal. The doctor did an echo on me, came to find out that I needed bypasses. He said I needed three bypasses. Well, come to find out, I was under the knife. It came out that I needed five bypasses, and yes, I was almost—I almost died. I could have—I could have been dead if I didn't go to the hospital that day. I probably would have had a heart attack at home and just died. But this is what I'm saying about how reselling saves my life. You know, I have so many medical bills right now; it's ridiculous. I mean, and honestly, I don't pay all of them. You know, and we try to pay most of them. You know, I got a lot. I, I mean, I must be over close to a million dollars in debt with medical bills. You know, and thank God with the uh, American K, um, with the ACA, American Care Act, Obamacare. You know, I pay, I pay hundreds of dollars for my health insurance, but at least I have health insurance. And you know, with the reselling, it helps supplement that. But what I'm saying here is that, you know, don't take your health for granted. If you know anybody that's a diabetic, let them know that. Yes, you know, your, the way your sugars go up and down, it affects your heart and it can kill you. You know, diabetes does not, it leads to other, you know, other health issues. For me, unfortunately, it, it led to you know, open heart surgery. And, um, you know, on my whole lifetime, I mean, altogether, I've had over 15 major surgeries. I've had back surgeries. I have hip surgeries. If I had them, like I said, my SI joints done. I had um, both of my hips and my ball joints. I had them shaved. I had, and you know, it was just ridiculous. Hips, back, heart, wrist, ankle. I mean, I've had so many surgeries in my lifetime. You know, so I mean, in my whole life, I suffer from chronic illness. You know, and I live my life so positive. Try to be happy. You know, I don't, I don't take anything for granted. You know, I, my wife is, has been nothing but saving grace. She's been taking care of my health, make sure I stay on top of my health. You know, granted, we don't eat good all the time. You know, we try to eat good, but, you know, and especially living in Vegas, there's so many places to eat. But we are going to move, and I don't know if we're going to move 
soon. This is, we're trying to move. I want to move to Colorado. I want to move to Trinidad, Colorado. It's a beautiful little town. And it's close enough to certain hospitals, but you're still close, and you're close to the forest. And I love it. The air is clean. You know, it's an hour and a half from my in-laws, and they live up in the country. I mean, it, where they live is beautiful. I wish I could live there, but no. But I just want to say thank you, everybody, for watching. Hi to all my new subscribers. And um, please like, share, subscribe. And, you know, we're going to go to Texas next month, and I'm going to try to get some videos in of some... Uh, small town thrift stores and see what they got i think that's going to be cool you know maybe buy some stuff that my wife lets me because she's in charge of all the money i know i don't i don't trust myself with money so but thank you guys again and um i hope you're liking the videos and please 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 share and please 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 if you know anybody that suffers from a chronic illness is not taking care of it especially with diabetes because diabetes is a slow slow killer so please guys talk to your friends talk to your family members talk to your, anybody you know that suffers from diabetes, they're not taking care of it. Let them know to take it serious because they never know. And that's what they say about diabetes. If you're diabetic, you're less likely to feel a heart attack. It's, you know, a lot of people die in their in their sleep. You know, it's just, they just, they go. You know, and I, I don't want to go that way. I refuse to die. You know, I'm a happy person. I'm a positive person. And nothing's going to take me down. You know, I don't care what it is. You know, I'm... I, like I said, I live so positive. I try to live so happy. And, you know, I don't let nothing get to me. It's just my whole life, you know. I've always tried to be happy. Always try to be positive. Always try to be positive around people. Always help people that aren't positive to be positive, you know. And, you know, when I was a supervisor for the city, I always try to help my people excel. I always try to help my people with any negativity that, that they were dealing with. You know, even though I was just their boss, you know, and I wasn't trying to be their friend. I was just trying to be more of a mod motivator, I guess. But anyways, I'm done talking. I'm talking too much. Anyway, you guys, hope you liked the video. Please like, subscribe, and there'll be more videos to come. Like I said, we're going to do more eBay stuff, more garage sale stuff, and then I'm going to do the um, the thrifting in the small towns. I think that's going to be cool. Maybe even try to get some, some little yard sales done in the in the small towns, I know, because we got to go, we're going to Arizona, we're going to New Mexico, and then we're going to Colorado, and then we're going to go to Texas, so hopefully, I want I want to do yard sales in, in New Mexico and Colorado, I think, because those, those smaller towns, smaller areas, will be pretty cool, but again, I'm talking too much, I'm going to stop, so again, like, subscribe, and thank you everybody, and I know I got a little bit of subscribers, and hopefully we get this channel to grow, and get you guys to see more stuff, so have a good one, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.